A healthy Enneagram type two is always been driven to help others. And that natural inclination that they have, it helps shape their approach to content creation. So they understand that the audience needs and desires is crucial to creating content that resonates with them. It's not just about creating content, but about creating content that makes a positive impact on people's lives. So a lot of creators struggle to connect with their audience and meet their needs effectively. They might create content that they think that that they think will be valuable, but it falls flat because it doesn't speak to the audience, the audience's pain points or their interests. So what will happen is a, co a content creator that's only focused on what they think the audience wants will fail time, time again. They'll spend all this time just pouring their hearts and their souls into content and it doesn't get any engagement or it doesn't get the engagement that they want. So that can be frustrating. That can be demotivating. That can uh, make them even question like, why am I even doing this? Right. So one of the biggest mistakes that um, a lot of creators make and a lesson that we can learn from the type two, which is known as the altruist or the helper, is that the, we need to take our time to understand our audience. Most uh, content creators that are failing in this way are not doing research. They don't engage with their audience. They don't take feedback into account. And when you don't take that time to get to know your audience, you end up just creating content that could possibly be irrelevant. It could be boring. It could be just bad. You know what I'm saying? And your viewers, it's just not something that they want to see. So that lack of understanding can lead to a disconnect between the creator and the audience. And it's going to make it impossible to create content that truly resonates with your audience. And it's like trying to have a conversation with somebody, but you're not listening to what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? And you can't expect to build a strong connection with your audience if you're not willing to listen to their needs and concerns. So what we can do is we can leverage the type two's natural inclination to help others to create content that resonates with our audience. So um, one strategy that you can use is do some research. You know what I'm saying? Like do some research on other channels in your niche that are successful. Choose some of the ways that they structure their videos. You know what I'm saying? And implement, implement that in your own way. You know what I'm saying? And by putting yourself in the audience's shoes, you know what I'm saying? From executing um, what the successful people in your niche are doing, um, you could, the, the possibilities that come from that is that you'll, you'll create content that speaks directly to their needs and desires. So um, another strategy is to basically make videos about, you know, successful people, um, in an in your niche you know what i'm saying of course in a copyright friendly way you know what i'm saying and by leveraging the following that a popular person has uh already established in that niche you could attract attention you can build credibility because they already know whoever that is um you it'll keep your audience engaged um it could benefit you in seo um and it could possibly also create um network networking opportunities so another thing with um uh, creating viewer centric content it's not just uh about the audience is it's also about you as the creator so when you take the time to understand your audience you're actually creating content that's more meaningful and fulfilling to yourself as well so it's a win-win situation between you and your viewer and you get the your you get to create content that resonates with your audience and then you'll feel more connected to them. So 
by focusing on the audience's needs and desires, you can create content that truly makes a difference in their life. And that's what it's supposed to be all about, right? So just remember when you're creating viewer centric um, content, it's all about understanding your audience and creating content that speaks directly to their needs and desires. So thank you for watching. Uh, I love to hear from you in the comments. What's your experience been like creating content that resonates with your audience? Um, don't forget to subscribe for more insights on, you know, viewer uh, centric content creation in the Enneagram. And I'll see you in the next video.